Casey, did this camp any different from you, for you than others? I mean, I'm not saying you've been here a long time, but you've been here a long time. I have been here a long time. Um, it, it's really similar. And I think I, I really enjoy camp, actually. Um, so we kind of transition out of training and lifting, and then it's all about football. Um, so I, it's been the same that way since I've been here, and especially since um, Coach Brown has been here, that I've really enjoyed camp and that football focus. So it feels the same as it's always been, that it's all about football. And I really enjoy that. Do you appreciate where you started and where you are now? You know, Lou Broza, semi, finals, watch us, whatever, and that you never picked in high school in football. Do you think about that, or is that just I do think about it, and I'm very thankful for it. Um, I think I've gotten to experience it, of course, um, from not playing high school football mm -hmm. to um, being able to start and play and, and find some success. I, I don't think about it on the field while I'm kicking. I try to put performance and all of that kind of out of my mind, but I do enjoy it and I'm very thankful for it kind of outside of the field. I give myself time to enjoy that, appreciate that, especially with my family. Do you wish you'd uh, kicked in high school so much? If I could go back, I would. Um, I, I think that would relieve some of the uh, form issues that I've had, some of the transition. I think it would have been easier to start even in ninth grade, but um, I guess there's a reason I didn't. Um, and I'm, I'm thankful for, again, how it's worked out. But definitely kind of looking back, I think even in ninth grade, I would have said, you know what, I'm going to kick some footballs and see where, where this could go. Did, uh, when you first, your first kick on field when you went out there, what was not only going through your mind, but your body at that time, I mean. So I, I, I remember it clearly. It was, I think it was a Wednesday in October of 2017. So remember that clearly that I went out there. Uh, we had to go to Dick's and buy football. So I, I was completely out of it. I had one of those old orange tees. Um, not, not the kickoff tees, but the almost metal uh, field goal tee and brought it out and I remember kicking at Laidley Field and I loved it, right? Loved it, uh, kicked well, um, and that was probably out of complete beginner's luck because I had no idea what I was doing. So I just looked at the ball and kick it and I remember that very clearly, um, that I loved it and wanted to kick the balls. And how about when you went out in a game? So that, so that, that's a, maybe a little bit different. I, I almost blacked out because that, that was 2019 versus Baylor, which was the first field goal that I'd ever kicked. And I had a couple extra points and really just babied them in to make sure I made them. But I remember that first field goal roughly. Um, all, or again, it, it was um, almost a blackout moment where you don't remember much, kind of remember jogging out on the field and then kicking. You mentioned four. That's where you are now. Yes. Yes. I'm. Yes, and I'm. I'm very thankful for that kind of that transition. Even thinking from kicking off an old tee to kicking in games, and, and it's been uh, growth and comfort, of course, um, to where I'm a little more relaxed now. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yes. You, you mentioned form. Um, you know, a lot of the kickers today. Uh, they go to academies, they've got Sven Gollies that are there, you know, around them. And you had none of that. Um, do you feel like you're having to catch up? Are you trying to absorb as much as you can? Who's giving you um, uh, the, the techniques and things that uh, you're using today? So I, I do think it's been catch up for me, um, kind of with that form in mind. Because ever since I, I got here, it's almost always been about making kicks. And I felt that pressure my true freshman year, and I feel that pressure today of, I'm here to make kicks. So whatever form I have to use to make kicks, I'm gonna use that form. Um, and I think when you change your form, there's a process of you get worse before you get better. And I don't feel like I've had the time to do that since I've been here. So that's part of the maybe negative side of not having a coach early on in high school to where I didn't have that time to build up 
a form, almost like you build a golf swing. Well, flip it around. I mean, you basically go out there and kick the ball and try to kick it through the goalpost. Yep. Well, that's pretty simple. Very Do simple. you think sometimes maybe uh, people uh, make things a little more complicated than they need to be? Absolutely, and I do that too. And my coaches have been on me about that, um, especially in team settings that they just say, just kick the ball, you know? So I, absolutely, people overcomplicate it. And definitely in team settings and in game settings, I just try to kick it in, in the post and, and don't think about anything else. Well, there's and, something to be said for that, isn't there? Yes, and, and that's something that I, I've learned up, as I've grown is that you make a lot more kicks not thinking about your form than when you're thinking about every little detail. So there absolutely is a side where you just... So I'm, maybe you benefited by not having all this yeah. uh, stuff to think about. Yes, and I think mentally I, I absolutely have to where, especially when I'm on the field in team settings and live field goals, that I'm just kicking. Right. And I, I'm thankful for that. that that's been um, my experience since I got here. So, um, I, I've shared this before. I loved soccer, played soccer in high school. So, I think it was an opposing team's parent or grandparent asked my mom if I had ever kicked footballs. And she said, no, nah, he's never kicked. And then that was maybe the week before that October, that um, October in, in 2017, that he had asked that question. So we thought, I had a couple of days off of school. We thought, we might as well try it. Might as well go kick. So that was the background. And I really don't think I would have ever tried it if if that parent would have asked, wouldn't have asked my mom that. So. With a, you, you've been around this sport long enough now that in every position there's different nuances that can change. Quarterbacks get different arm angles. Mm -hmm. That's why they're different techniques, different games. Those are just based on what's in the school and that's fine, right? Kick is okay. And I, I wouldn't say it's, I don't see it evolving almost like the, the game. And I think there absolutely is a simple side to it to where you just kick it through the posts. And I like that. And I, I think the simplicity of it is really cool, but also there's absolutely ways to get better. And I think the mental side of kicking is something that I've grown in a lot of thinking that maybe even form wise or what you do with your body that there are limits to that but the mental side of kicking is something that um and, and sports psychology maybe that side is something that i've seen growth in myself and something that can continue to grow <laughs> so i've only made the one career tackle and that was my first ever kickoff um so i'd honestly like to keep it that way <laughs> so <laughs> It's preparation, yeah. and I, um, I try to really focus on that, and I think it's probably the most important aspect of making field goals is the mental side of it, to make sure that you're prepared to deal with the pressure of kicking, because that I think that's the hardest part to overcome is the real pressure you face when you're out there, um, and to be able to overcome that and trust whatever your process is, that's almost all mental preparation. Yes, and there's not and there's not a ton of reaction. I uh, snap or I'll snap it, hold or hold it, and so that's the only reaction. Other than that, it's all preparation. I mean, response to the outcome, right? Yes. No, I I try to completely ignore the outcome, which is really hard, and I struggle with it. I've struggled with it since I started kicking, but I try to completely ignore what happens as soon as the ball leaves my foot. You work with a psychologist at all? Or? So we, we have a team psycholog psychologist now, Dr. Adrian, um, and, and he's worked with us. He's done some mindfulness before games. Um, so I, I enjoy spending time with him. And then also I do some on the side, just reading books. Um, I'm reading one now called Mind Gym. Mind, and Gym. Mind Gym. And I've read it since middle school. It's one of my favorite books of all time. And slow I, read, slow reader, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
I've read it before. There we go. There we go. But um, so I, I've I, I try to read that before this season. Um, it really helps me. Prepare. You're a thorough reader. Have you um, have you ever found yourself in a situation where you're around other kickers and knowing your background and they're talking about whatever and you're going, what in the hell are they talking about? So I. I've studied it a lot, okay. so I wouldn't necessarily say that. It's more of a, how in the world do I get my swing to do that? Okay. <laughs> is more of the problem. So I've studied. I've watched a ton of film. So I I know the right way to kick. Okay. But it's I struggle with the the making my swing do that. And you just go back and just kick it through the goalpost. That's it. Yep. That's what I what I try to do. Going back to your mental preparation, is there a routine you have? Is there something that you try and do just to kind of get in the same mindset every single game that you do every time? Yes, and it is the same every time in practice and games. So I, my first objective is to deal with the pressure. And there's real pressure, um, and I don't want to ignore that about kicking. Of Games were won and lost by kicking, and that brings pressure with it. And I deal with that, I deal with that through faith and prayer. So that's a part of my response and a part of my preparation is that. So that's how I deal with pressure. And then every time I take my steps back, um, I'll, I'll deal with that pressure and then I'll remind myself of my three main things in my kick, which is stand tall, stay smooth, and swing to the target. And that's all I do. Like Every time, that's what I do. And if it goes in, great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And I trust that process. So that's every kick. Every Who told you that? Who taught you that? Those three things. Um, that that is. Um, I mean, I, I've developed it with coaches, kind of just seeing when I'm kicking well. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that I'm doing. So is, stand tall, stay smooth, swing through the target. Yes. So um, I have a tendency to really crunch on my field goals, and that's why I stand tall. Mm -hmm. um, if I swing too hard, I'll shank the ball and then swing into my target, I, I think just makes sense. So, so I just, those have just been developed kind of over the years of kicking of, so when I'm making field goals, that's, those are the things that I'm doing. Do you play golf? I do. Seems like a lot of kickers play golf. There's a, a lot of similarities between <laughs> kicking a ball and swinging and hitting a ball. Yes, I'm, I'm not very good though. Not very good? <laughs> I'm not very Better good. kicker than golfer. I would say so. <laughs> As a West Virginia kid, have you thought about what this first game is going to be like? Yes, I have. Um, and I think it goes back to me because I, I actually was at the 2007 pick game. Mm -hmm. So I was a seven-year-old, and it's honestly still vivid to me. Like I remember leaving that game with my family and people throwing rocks at our car. <laughs> like I remember how emotional people were about it. And I was seven, and I remember that. Um, and I remember it being important to me. And so that's, that's what I'm coming into it with, is kind of that remembrance of, of how important it is to the people of West Virginia. So. I understand Bill Kralavich came and spoke to you guys. Yes. What, what were some of the takeaways from hearing him talk about the big game? He pumped us up. It, it was great to hear him. It was great to hear him. Um, and he, he's experienced so many of the games and being able to hear his history with the games and how many of them he won, it was really cool to hear him. We all appreciated it. Um, he, did a, he did a great job. So I, I joked with him, I, I was saying that he needed to come speak to us like 30 minutes before the game or 15 right. minutes before the game, right before we went out. Okay, Casey, thank you.